wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station and we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. Jim, how are you reading the formation? Yes, and the importance of this formation is not to allow the midfield three and the attacking three to become too detached from one another. If that happens, then pressure can quickly be applied via the counter-attack and you can be exposed defensively. So compactness can't be compromised. And you need talkers in this team. You need leaders and people that are willing to organise things very quickly. There's the whistle, and here we go. Bacali. Anderlecht couldn't do a whole lot with it there. They could do with more sharpness in their passing. Chance to cross here. Oh, surely! Going for goal! And it's a goal! Well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. It's rarely a problem when that much time is afforded in the penalty box. Nobody sensed where the danger was lurking, and the finish was made a lot easier. Lockeren take the early advantage. And it's Bacali. Who's ball? Who's going to get that? Forward it goes. Anderlecht are already trailing here early on. They cannot afford to let this get worse. Well, you can be very hard to regroup and work your way back into the match, but they've got time. He's had a shot at goal! It's in! Hot knife through butter! They have done it again! An exhibition in how to finish with a minimum of fuss. Lockeren take a two-goal lead and things should be comfortable from here on in. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now, the only doubt is how many is coming. sure that that won't get through and that's a throw it's a brilliant interception Decent progress down the left. Let's put a stop to that. He 
he is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. Cuts it out. In. And the header! Oh, just needed a better contact. Anderlecht can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. Did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. He's through. He's off for big chance! Good stop, that wasn't easy. Oh, that's a sparkling save, absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. Anderlecht can make their change now with uh, a break in play. They've played it short. Gets up to head it! Harmlessly behind. That was good defensive pressure to give him less manoeuvring room. There's going to be another change here. Anderlecht are still behind as we reach out for half-time. Good running with the ball, can they build on it? Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. That was one quality pass away from being a very decent chance, but very promising. Ah, quality deserted them when they really needed it. It's a good run down the right. Where could this lead? First 45 minutes are up. Any opinion you'd like to express on the first half? Yeah, chins have dropped, heads are down, and half time couldn't have come at a better time. That gets things going for the second half. Well, this half might require them to produce a plan A, B and C. Leveling the score is easier said than done, but that will be the target. Get back on terms and then use that momentum to go again. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. He's had a shot! Very well to intervene. Now, can he capitalise? And the assistant referee rightly gives him offside. 
I thought he might just get the benefit of any doubt there. They found themselves tending, nowhere to go. <laughs> the referee's awarded a free kick. And no surprise, that's a booking. I think they've got to make a statement now to say to their opposition, we're not giving up without a scrap, to give themselves the belief that this is recovery. The defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. It's come loose. Defending, albeit from an unexpected source. You have to admire a commitment like that, because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing, but instead, he looks as if he relishes the chance to, uh, to dig in for his team here. Anderlecht still contemplating when to use their last remaining substitute. Gorgeous control there. Looks to thread it through. Flags up. He just needs a, a cooler head to get that right. He got a little excited in his willingness to run clear. Forward quickly, and that's well defended. And it's got through. And Anderlecht could counter now. It's a promising run he's making on the right. Nicely controlled. Good try cutting inside here. And he just whacks it away. Out for a throw. Could fall anywhere. Aim low and direct. Good challenge. He just stood firm. Underlegged don't appear to have what it takes to get back into this one, but they do have what it takes to show enough pride and passion to appear to the fans that they care. Into the last five minutes. One through here. Yeah, he was under pressure to get that exactly right, and he couldn't even think of the consequences. It was instinctive and rock solid. Forward it 
goes. And that's that. Well, this hurts. The pain of defeat, very evident. And there are hard lessons to be learned from it all when they regroup. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Anderlecht didn't quite recover from the early blow, Peter, after which they just got stuck in chase mode. And all that remains for me is to thank Jim Beglin. That's it from us tonight. A very good evening to one and all.